Lucas Media. So I was listening to Pat Bev's podcast with uh with Rome. Shout out to Pat Bev. He had guest Gillian Wallow from Million Dollars Worth the Game one there. And they both had some interesting things to say. Um, but there's <laughs> there's been this wild speculation from these weirdos online that says that Gilly's son was sacrificed for the Illuminati. And Gilly had some things to say about that. Let me play this clip. Fair use. Uh, excuse the language. It ain't going to be monetized, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> the one thing that'll always expose a motherfucker, you ain't real. If you woke up this morning and you disrespected a nigga that you absolutely never met in your life, yeah, you solid. a suck-ass yeah, nigga, man. Solid. I'm going to pause it right there. That's how I be feeling. This is why I keep dropping daily heat. You know, I look at the comments, but it don't bother me because... You know, a lot of times people act like they're afraid to do stuff because of the hate they get online. But like like, like he said, if you diss somebody, you don't even know you ain't real. But let me keep playing it. So I already know I got the up on yeah, you. Straight up. Because you a fucking sucker. Uh -huh. How could you ever disrespect somebody that you don't fucking know? Uh -huh. That don't make no sense. Facts. How could you ever disrespect a man that you never met? How could you ever disrespect a man's child? They got murdered out here in these streets. You already a pussy, man. You already showed your hand. So I already know I got the up on you. So I already know 10 times out of 10 when I see you and you look in my motherfucking eyes, you're going to tap out. And that's the crazy thing about online, right? And just in general, a lot of times people be sneak dissing and dissing, but these same people, when they be in somebody's face, they have a whole different, different tone. You ever been around somebody... And it could be somebody close. They be talking all. They be talking crazy in text messages. Then when you pull up, no, bro, it ain't like that, man. Let me keep playing the clip though. Hey, for sure. That is honestly one of the things that pisses me off the most. That uh, I mean, rest in peace, first and foremost, to your son, man. That's fucking. Uh, but when I see people online talking about like, uh, and I wouldn't even mention it if it wasn't getting thousands of likes. People are like. See the fucking Illuminati sacrifice. The Illuminati. That that honestly makes me my, like makes my blood boil that they would use a like, situation like that. That's like so tragic. Is y'all sitting around talking about the, the Illuminati sacrifice and all that dumbass shit online? What Jay Z say? You get so good, they wish the devil on you. Yeah, fucking nut ass. Yeah, that man. makes me. It literally makes me so pissed off because it's just so disrespectful. The Illuminati came down North Philly and killed my son. Shut the fuck up. Goofy ass niggas. Positive and love. Yeah, I mean, it discredits your success on top of it. Not only is it fucking like, it's like you couldn't be successful if it weren't for this. Got brothers and sisters and shit, they gotta see that shit. Mm. Gotta see some dumb shit like that online. Cause you niggas trying to get views and likes. Well, that's how I be though. All right. And my bad, if y'all can hear interference, Um, I think it was Wallow's mic or whatever, if y'all hear a sound in the background. I mean, here's the thing, right? I don't even know where this whole Illuminati thing came from. I know it's been around for quite some time. It's clearly something that some people who ain't got no time with their life just made up. And it didn't got, it didn't got so bad to where, like, I got a nephew, right? I ain't going to say who. And just know I got about 40 nieces and nephews, right, in my family. So one of my nephews one time before the late Kobe Bryant, when he was still alive, he was like, man, unk, Kobe Bryant, a devil, devil worshiper, unk, man, look at this, look at that. And I said, so let me get this straight. Kobe sold his soul to the devil when he was six years old and he made himself 6'6 six, six and, and had all these and became one of the greatest athletes of all time basketball players shooting guards whatever some people's goat he may he had to make a deal with the devil about that but did my nephew ask me man oh man will you buy me a pair of kobe Bryant shoes and i was like but isn't he a devil worshiper that oxymoron but anyway i digress so you see this right you see these these weirdos online that Anytime something happens, oh man, you see, it's the Illuminati. Uh, Puff sacrificed Biggie. 
Gilly sacrificed his son. Kobe Bryant's life was a sacrifice. And all this dumb shit. You know, excuse my language, but it is what it is. And this man, this brother, this lo- he lost his son. You know, a lot of people, they got kids they don't even take care of. Clearly, uh, he was in his son's life. And do y'all know how hard it is to bury a kid? You know, some people... And 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 I'm not I'm not taking nothing from it, right? I didn't lost everything, uh, uh, a parent, all my grandparents, all of that. But the pain to have to bury a child, especially when his life was taken away on some foolish shit, some dumb shit. You know, it's just is 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 inexcusable. It's insensitive, and it makes no sense that we live in a world where. You will make some random shit up for views and likes or something, something that heinous. You know, I don't know. It's just, it's, we, 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 we in wild times, man. It's going to be to the point to where if somebody passed away at natural causes, they're going to say it's because the Illuminati. But these same people, these same people. Know more about the Illuminati than they do their own mothers, grandmothers, and re- and really their own kids half the time. You too busy online, uh, making videos and doing dumb shit like that, but you don't even know how your sons they was at school, or or how your daughter relationship going, or how they moves been. Some of y'all ain't never even been in some of y'all y- y'all kids practice. Some of these niggas ain't ever been in their kids practices. No daddy daughter dance, but you too busy on here worried about Illuminati. So, you know, my, my, my heart go out to to Gilly, man. No parent in the world deserves that, man. But I just want to get my two thoughts on it. Tell me what y'all think.